Hey, what's up, guy? Hmm. Okay, let's do it again. Hey, what's up? What? Mm. What's up, guys? This is Tony Solo here from The Natural Lifestyles. And this video is all about seeking out great mentors. My track of seeking out great mentors is really fucking good because I was very deliberate in what kind of mentor that I want at this part in my life. When it comes to seeking out mentors, what confuses a lot of men and people particularly is how do I find people who can mentor me? You know, I want to find somebody who I really look up to, but I can't get access to them. Maybe I like this guy or maybe I like Tony Robbins or maybe I like Eric Thomas or somebody else. How do I get in contact with these people or how do I find mentors to be able to help me at this point in my life? For me, my mentors from when I was little to now, many of the times have been women. And now so much, of course, a lot of times is, is men and I for a very long time will not be listening to anybody because I want to figure out who am I independent of anybody else. Who am I independent of this person's thoughts? Who am I independent of this person's wisdom, this person's ideas? Who am I? What can I express? What comes out of me naturally if I don't try to figure out what someone taught me? That's just my track. But let's think about when I was growing up. When I was growing up, the mentors who were completely in my life and that were teaching me so much were women. And that's because a part of me was, was just used to seeing women in power because of my mom. My mom, she was the one who really brought us up and my dad wasn't around so much as a, as a force to us as much as my mom. So I got used to women being in the stronger position. While I was growing up, I had mentors who were my mentors from church, who were my mentors at school. One of the women who's affected my life the most is a, is a woman, and she was a teacher of mine who just let me know that everything that I was doing in my life at that point, or people I was hanging around, it wasn't good for me. Women are great mentors. And my mentors, being women as I grew up, taught me so much about being around uh, women's emotions. It taught me so much about why women say one thing and, and do another. It taught me so much about how deep a woman can go in herself. It taught me a lot about how a woman actually can teach a man, but in how many ways a woman can't teach a man. Seeking out great mentors, seeking out guys or women or people well, it's not anything besides men and women who can help you will fast track your growth. My growth since little growing up has been fast tracked because of the mentors that I've seeked out, because of the people who came along into my life and it told me, OK, man, this is the thing that you're doing and it's great. But if you do this thing, this is better. The men who came along and told me that, yeah, man, you need to learn this and being around women in my life, even the women that I was sleeping with, who let me know that you are not keeping your word. So many mentors that I've had. And this is the thing that I'm going to talk to you about in this video that's going to be very, very different. This is what I love so much. When it comes to seeking out mentors, I want you to understand that mentors are everywhere and literally everywhere every fucking where mentors are everywhere a man can walk through life with no mentor no physical mentor because when people think of mentors they think of physical people but I have to tell you that mentors are everywhere they're not just physical people mentors are not just hey I paid him some money and he mentored me people are used to this normal way of mentoring but I challenge you to go with this way. Start looking around your life at the situations 
at what you struggle with, at what you're fearful of, and see how in this situation can I be mentored. And a lot of times you will see that you don't need to go to somebody and say, hey man, I need some help. I don't know how to do this. Can you please help me out, man? Hey, I'll, I'll give you some money. Can you help me out? Or, man, I really want to change my life. I want to go here and I want to seek out this mentor. Of course, that's great because people who are able to lead you back to yourself and the healthy ways are fucking great. Me and the people that I know and other people. But even if you didn't come to me or anybody else, you could figure this all out on your own, not through people, but just through your experiences that you have in your life. So as you look around your life, and like I said before, see what it is that you're struggling with. What is the part of my life that I want to become, that I want to be better? What is the part of me that I want to be better? And now start to look at what is the actual situations teaching me around me each and every day about the thing that I want to better? Example, let's say that you want to better your confidence. And I don't like saying confidence, but guys love this fucking word. But let's say you want to better your confidence. And you look around your life and you go, all right, I'm not confident talking to women. I'm not confident in front of groups. I'm not confident when I'm speaking to people. I'm not confident on camera. The number one way that you can mentor yourself is, the, is awareness. This is the number one way. The number one way is fucking awareness. Because once you start to look at and become aware of the times where you're not being, so to speak, confident, now you can start to look at, okay, how can I in this situation do something different? And right now, of course, I'm mentoring you, but you could do this to yourself. It's just that you're afraid to actually really do the work for, your, for yourself. And you want somebody else to give you the insight that you actually already know. You have to think about this. When people really give you the insights, if you look at my videos and you look at people's videos that you really love, when they give you insights, they just tell you something that you already know. Intuitively, you already feel this and know this. You just want somebody to let you know that that is right or that is okay. You're looking for the okay to the goal that you already have. You already have the goal within yourself. This is the amazing thing. You already have the gold, but you're looking for everybody to say, yes, that gold is good. Yes, that's some good gold. Yes, you have pearls, they're amazing. And you go, oh, okay, I can, whew, I can relax now, they are amazing. That's what you would notice that's happening. So, start to see, okay, in this situation that I'm completely not confident in, how can I set it up? With women, let's think about with women. You know, in my videos that I talk about now, in my mix-up videos of the week, I don't like talking about women, but when, when it comes to confidence and you guys were watching this video, let's, let's now touch this. Confidence around women. I don't know how to approach a girl. Let's say you start there. From that place, how can you start to be mentored by life? Because you want to think about mentors in the sense of how is life mentoring me all the time? When I see a woman, how am I being mentored right now? Remember I said the number one way to mentor yourself is awareness. What are you aware of in this moment? Are you aware of your fear? Or are you aware of what you want to do? A lot of the times, because you're so used to being aware of your fear, or not even being aware of it, or letting your fear control you, you will notice that all the things that come up is the fears and the, and the projections. They all will start to show up. And you, your focus goes zoop, straight there. And as your focus goes there, you start to notice that your energy goes down. Because whatever you focus on will start to affect you. So you're focusing on it and your energy start to go down. Now that your state is controlling the way you're thinking, you're like, oh my God, I'm not going to do it. But let's say that you were like, I'm aware that I want to go talk to the girl. I'm aware right now that, I'm, that I find her attractive. I'm aware right now that she looks relaxed and I want to go tell her that her relaxed mood is making me feel relaxed. What are you aware of in these moments? That is the key. That is the shit you need to start to look at. How is this situation mentoring me? It's telling me that if I focus on my fear, I won't do anything. If I focus on what I want to do, I will do something or I will at least start to take the right direction in myself to do the thing that I want to do. It all the time, this is what you'll notice, it all the time is mentoring you. Every situation you go into, the woman is mentoring you in that moment. She's mentoring you in the sense of 
Come talk to me, dude. You know you want me. She's reflecting back to you. She is. Her, she's not even telling you this, but she's telling you this. She's mentoring you in this moment. She's saying, come speak to me. Because she knows that, that, what you, that is what you want to do. A woman respects a man who does what he wants to do. She is mentoring you in this moment, telling you, do what you want to do. Even if I don't fucking like you, I will respect you. Even if what you say to me is repulsive, I will at least think to myself, well, he tried, but he was a fuck up or whatever it is. At least something will happen to it. Women are constantly mentoring you. If you want to do approaching, women are constantly mentoring you. They're constantly reflecting back to you your fears. They're constantly reflecting back to you what you need to work on within yourself. If you ever look at a woman and go, it was her fault, then you're not being mentored the right way. You're, you're allowing your fears to mentor you. You don't want to be mentored by the wrong thing. Allow what you know is true for you to mentor you. Let's say it's something else, like you want to start something new, like a, a new business, or you want to start a, start a new skill. And as you want to start this new skill, you'll notice that many things come up sometimes. Let's say that you feel that I won't be able to do the skill, I won't be good at it. Or if I, if I try to build this business, and I'm not one to talk about building businesses because I, I haven't built my own, because remember I told you guys this, who do you listen to? Whatever it is that you're trying to do, understand that something may come in the way of it. And you can allow that to mentor you or not. When situations pop up in your business, how is it mentoring you? How is it teaching you? The awareness that you have will allow you to know how it's teaching you. Now, like I said, of course, if you have somebody to come in to talk to you about what you need, what you need to do, it'll fast track it. But I'm telling you, even if you didn't have that opportunity, if you didn't have that, um, that great thing that you could do of getting somebody into your life to help you uh, verbally and you know, showing you, you could figure this out on your own. I had to figure many things out on my own. You know, a lot of things I've learned now and come to right now, I of course I've had mentors to physically tell me, but now I don't have any mentors. I completely am allowing myself to be mentored by every situation I'm in. You're in the business now, because I want to bring you, always bring you guys back. Now you're in the business or you're trying to learn some new skill. Let's say that you fuck up something. How is that mentoring you? Don't look at, okay, the fuck up, the fuck up, the fuck up. No. How is this situation mentoring me? Because you got to realize that every experience you have in life is mentoring you. It is. It's showing you something about yourself. It is, uh, is reflecting back to you in some way something. And how do you know? How do you feel towards what's ha what happened? That always, that always lets you know how much you're growing from what's happening. It's how do you feel? Are you focusing on the thing you need to focus on? Are you focusing on the positive or the negatives? Allow yourself to completely focus on the positives. If the negative comes in, look at it and go, yes, that is something that I did wrong, but what else can I do to make this better? And what you start to do is that you start to learn to adjust. You start to walk through life and you start to learn to adjust along the way until it becomes into focus. So if you think about it in a camera, you're like, eh, eh, no, eh, eh, no. You keep doing it until it becomes completely into focus and now everything is clear. That's the way you want to see it is that, yes, I will start off sometimes doing this thing. I will start off sometimes talking to women and not know what I'm doing, but if I allow every situation to mentor me, I'll learn very quick. That is the truth. That's the reason why any skill that I ever try to learn because you know I'm gonna learn Spanish at some point I was telling my friends all last year I'm gonna learn this year but many things have come into priority but when I start to learn any skill like when I start to learn Spanish I am going to let every, let every situation mentor me I'm gonna allow this situation right here where I'm like fuck I don't feel like coming up with the word that's just me hitting the resistance of I, I feel like this person is gonna uh, think that I don't know how to speak Spanish right now so I feel weird about that and I'm going to close down and I'm not going to try to speak Spanish. I'm just going to speak English instead of in that moment, not closing down and just staying open to what does this mean? What does this word mean? And then saying the word or accessing my memory, being able to go, ah, oh, that's what it means. That is the beauty of learning. That is the beauty of being a man or a woman in life 
and you can seek out mentors that are not physical. Guess what else is a mentor? Books. Books are incredible mentors. Books are amazing mentors. They are. You do not need a physical person to be in front of you. Books are incredible to your growth. People a lot of times, they like to use books today and just taking on the wisdom and just using it. Like using the wisdom to their advantage. And the way, not, not like this advantage like this, it's really a disadvantage, but they're starting to spew and regurgitate, you know, a friend of mine said, these fucking things that they've heard people say. And of course, I've been a person who's done this before, but now everything that I'm saying is just completely from experience. It is. Now, there are certain things that I've heard people say, and I may go, I heard my friend said this, like I just said before, but I want you guys to understand that books will change your whole life. You can literally have books, because people have done this. You can have books and experience of life and you will fucking just do whatever it is that you want in life as much as anybody else who's gotten mentored by physical people. People who have physically been there for them. Like me. If there's people out there right now who've never had a physical mentor but who have so much more wisdom than me. Who have so much more integration within themselves than me. And how did I learn about all these mentors? Because I started to look at my whole life and go, where am I learning everything that I'm learning from? This is when I was start to look at, okay, my journey of learning, how is it so fast? How is it so fast that I keep learning things so quickly and embodying it so quickly? It's because I'm getting mentored all the time. <laughs> That's why. Example from, from my life. When I committed to openness, itself. I'm like, all right, I'm committing myself to openness for the rest of my life. When I feel the closures in my body, I'm going to allow myself to just open through it. And I've been in this commitment and it's brought me so many jewels as far as myself. It was funny because I had a guy ask me my video, uh, do I, do I used to smoke a lot of weed? Because <laughs> he, he said I'm really relaxed. And I didn't actually smoke weed until I was 22. It was in, in Amsterdam. I've only smoked it four or five times in my life altogether. So, I start to look at, okay, how am I growing so quickly? And as I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, I'm getting mentored by everything. People, situations, life. And the situation last year with the girl who I felt was being so negative when I would walk into one of the places I would eat every day, I would close down. I'm like, I committed to openness, but every single time I would come up to, the, to register, she would be completely in this mood where she's like this and I would feel like oh man I don't want to deal with people like this I want people who are just open but she was my test she was the test to my closure and it was great because I became aware of that I became aware that I closed down every single time in front of this woman so the fact that I closed down every time in front of her for me to change this for me to stay committed to something that's bigger, that's more encompassing than fucking closure, I need to be open to the closure that she makes me feel. Because her closure made me feel closure and I would close down and be like, and I would start to say stuff about her. Like, oh man, she's in a fucking bad mood. I don't want to be around her. Can somebody else, I would feel it in myself. Can somebody else come serve me? But then every day I would go in, I would come in and I would be like, all right, this is my test. And I walk in, I will allow myself to just stay open in my body. And openness for you guys, what it means is staying relaxed in my body and open in my breath. That's what it means. And when I feel the contraction of washi, I would just open through it. Or I feel my perineum clench up, I would just open through it. When I feel my heart become intense or my chest become intense, I would just open up. Or my stomach become intense, I would just open up, relax it, and breathe through it. That was my test. She mentored me in staying open. And every single time that something happens with me and my woman or me in situations with women or me in situations with people, I can feel the closure and I can go, ah, oh, I can open through that. I'm mentoring myself. I'm with awareness seeing and feeling, okay, what's happening for me? Because how do you know in this situation that you need to mentor yourself? How do you feel? How do I feel in this situation? If it's not, if it's not complete 
goodness in the way you want to, it is a mentor to you. Let everything mentor you. Let it. Independent of people too. Let everything mentor you. All the situations you go into. The daily things you do. When you go into work, who frustrates you? Who annoys you? When you are at the grocery store, what pisses you off when you're, when you're there sometimes? When you are at home and you fucking don't have a clean room, do you get angry immediately and go, fuck, man? Or maybe somebody does something to you during the day. Yesterday, a, a homeless guy fucking, you know, he started, not a homeless guy, it was like this dude who had mental issues. I said hello to his doggy, and the doggy didn't say something back. He was like, in this crazy way, he said, speak to my dog like you have manners or something like that. And immediately, I start to feel myself close down to him. Immediately. Because I'm like, anybody who's being aggressive towards me, I don't like when people are being aggressive for no reason. Now, I can match it, but I, like, I don't like that because I'm a loving dude. But I start to open through it, and I was open to the experience of what could happen between me and him. That mentored me in that moment to not close down. And I felt the closure in my heart. And I felt the closure in my perineum. And I felt my mind starting to say stuff. And I just opened and relaxed to everything. For you, now you want to start to see, okay. Tony, I like what you're saying. I like mentors. But right now, I want to learn this thing. How can I be aware when I'm not even a person that's aware? I'm always in my mind and I can't do anything. As I will always say to you. The number one way to change your life, the number one way to change your life is change the way you breathe. It's the number one way. Because the moment you become aware, you can now start to change things. But you cannot become aware sometime until you can observe yourself. And from observation, you need to, you need to be in your breath. You need to clearly see what is the thing that I need to work on. How can I get mentored in this situation? Be able to look at it from all angles. One of the things that's really helped me with fast-tracking my growth is introspection. That's honestly going within and going, I struggle with this. I struggle with expressing anger. That's what it was for me. How can I start to express anger? In the situations where I feel myself get angry, I close down. So how can I start to do that? The next time that I feel angry, I'm going to allow myself to just feel into what is whatever anger feels like and that was the start for me I was like anger feels like this I felt myself get tense I felt my head actually tense up and then I started to go all right it feels like this how can I express this and I would express it and it would be like a little bit off for me and I'm like oh that's strange I I know I don't really want to be that man that's angry and then I started to notice that I'm I'm not an angry man it's just anger is one of the things that we express intensity of not liking something it's something we express and I started to express it. And then I was like, whew. All right, now I feel like my body is feeling all these different things. And sensationally, I feel like I'm all over the place. Okay, now I feel that. I can be aware of all the sensations. And I started to express it more and more and more and more. So now I can just express anger and I can get fucking mad and I can just relax. That is the thing that I want you guys to be able to do. See how can my life mentor me. How can the situations I go into teach me something? How can every single day as I walk through life teach me something? As you're walking down the street and you notice yourself in your head, how can being in your head teach you? When you're in front of somebody on the street and you see them fucking being crazy and, and, and fucking like ah, screaming about something and you close down, you go, oh my God, I'm going to get away. How can you see that situation differently from a different standpoint? It's not go get into a fight with them, but how can you take the man differently? Because anytime you close down in life, it is teaching you something. When you see a woman and you want to go talk to her, how are you closing down? At what point do you feel yourself go, all right, this is, she's in a rush. She won't like me. The compliment I have, she, she probably been told that too many times and mine won't be unique. How can you allow yourself to come to the truth of the moment? It's that the truth of the moment really is, I want to go speak to her. Truth brings you to this moment now. Truth grounds you in this moment. Right now, the truth is that this person is being fucking crazy and that's scaring me. 
I'm not used to be around crazy people. I'm not used to intensity of emotion. And you allow yourself to go, I can be different to this. You're getting mentored by it now. You have to be relaxed and open for anything to mentor you. Because the moment you become tense to it, it can't, it, it can't mentor you because you are constricted to it. You are resisting it. Allow that to be. Your parents piss you off. Or your brother piss you off. Or your woman is pissing you off. Or situations you go into are pissing you off. How can you be pissed off by it? And still relax into yourself and allow it to mentor you. Is it pissing you off? Or is it because you're trying to get something from it and you're not getting it and that's making you mad? Can you be aware of that? In this situation, I'm wanting this. And every single time I don't get this, I get angry. How can that teach me? That sometimes I won't get what I want. Sometimes I'll try to go for things I want and I won't get it. And now it teaches you how to relax in those moments where you feel like I'm getting angry and I want what I want. How can it teach you? Life is always mentoring you. It's always giving you the chance to change and grow and be different. It's up to you. Each moment you have the chance to let something mentor you. Right now, you have a physical mentor. It's fine. I didn't say get rid of your physical mentors, but, I'm, but this video wasn't about how to find physical mentors because everybody's talking about that, but nobody's talking about experience itself. Nobody's talking about how every situation is mentoring you all the time. Right now, when I'm in front of you guys, I'm constantly bringing my awareness to my feet. I'm constantly bringing it into my pelvic floor because my pelvic floor is where I sit at all day and that allows me to be grounded in my feet. But I'm constantly doing that. I'm constantly softening myself and being open to you guys. So as you guys look at me and you see me talk, you actually can feel that I'm just here with you and that the, everything I'm giving you is the truth of what, of what I've experienced. And it was times where, when I was in front of you guys, where I just wanted to say something different and I was like, should I say that? And, and is this really the truth? And it's all training. I've been training myself. I have. And I'll continue to for the rest of my life stay soft and open to my own closures within because I'm committed to openness. And that teaches me so fucking much because life itself is openness. You, hi, you guys hear me talk about love all the time. I am one with love. So, so fucking yes. Yeah, I am. I'm one with stillness at the same time. I believe these are the pervading things of earth. That's the yin yang. The yin yang. I believe that pervades all of earth. That's the most powerful. That's why I've committed myself to openness because openness itself is love and freedom as a combination. Mentor. Be mentored by everything around you. Be mentored by life, what life gives you. Be mentored at the times when you feel yourself get angry. You feel negative emotion. These are times where you need to be mentored. It is okay for you to feel sadness and hurt and stuff like that. But maybe in that moment, the mentoring is to just sit with the pain that you have. And it teaches you how to be strong to those situations that used to hurt you and that make you sad. Sitting with tension is a mentoring in itself. Life is always teaching you, I need for you to start to look. I need for you to start to listen. I need for you to start to really feel into, okay, what is it that this moment is teaching me? And watch how the unfolding and the moments change your life. This is Tony Solo from the Natural Lifestyles. If you guys want to do coaching with me, I think you should. It'll be a very good idea. Go to naturallifestyles.com. Go to the contact page, put in an inquiry. And the beautiful thing is that now I have an opt-in page because I've created a meet to bedroom series that's completely free for you guys. So I will give you guys a link to that and that'll take you right to the website so you can get that because of course my mission is to bring you guys to your own way and in every way I will do that because I know that when you go to your own way women will love you for you people will love you for you and most importantly you will love you for you until next time this is your boy saying he's out